Let's talk about resistance testing. Right here, I have two kinds of buckles to show you how to test them properly. Because the charges are found in the pretensioner tube, they have a long harness that comes out to, in this case, a yellow connector on this one, and a black connector on this one. And I'm gonna show you how to test each of those properly to get a proper reading. These have both been repaired at Safety Restore, so we're gonna get an ohms reading of between two and three ohms. And that is a proper reading for you to make your airbag light go away or any DTC codes to also be gone. To properly test the resistance, we'll have to start with the multimeter. We're gonna wanna turn that on to audible resistance testing. Another thing I recommend with these type of connectors, because they have a shorting bar, pressing the two pins you need to test, grab a zip tie, you likely have one at home, and take the pointed end and place it in between just one of the pins. That's all you need to get a proper reading because otherwise it shorts it and you're not gonna get a correct reading. And you're gonna get 2.5, 2.4 resistance. This buckle is more or less the same. Also has a charge right here and a harness that runs along the tube, comes out to this black connector. We're gonna do the same thing. And you get 2.4, 2.3. Anywhere between two and three is a healthy reading. And that's all you need to know about resistance testing on a seatbelt buckle.